Free your spirit, free your mind. Let your soul hear it, your light will shine. Pastor A.D. Nichols, the ambassador of wisdom, is coming to you in just about 40 seconds. We're hoping that you will open up the mail that's about to be delivered. One of the hardest working women in gospel. That's Pastor A.V. Nichols, an outreach pastor, reaching out through Facebook, reaching out through every means necessary to turn you on to Jesus. So let's get ready. Take some minutes out of your day so the words of wisdom will make a better way. And now, Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Hello, welcome back. My name is Ava Nichols. Amen. God is so good. We're back again. Amen. We've been reading a psalm a day. Amen. And we've been um, sharing and elaborating on the scriptures. Amen. As, as time uh, allows us to. And I just thank God for Psalm. Psalm has been an inspiration in my life. Amen. And I do recommend that you read the entire book of Psalm. Amen. And there is a Psalm for everything that you go through in life. Amen. Psalm was written, a lot of the Psalms were written by David. Amen. And um, he was going through a lot of adversities and uh, trials and tribulations. And God, he would talk to God. Amen. And he would pray to God. He would praise, uh, give praises to the Lord. Amen. And we can apply these psalms to our life. Um, there's a psalm for anything you're going through. I, I, I've read psalms so many times during my trials and um, uh, adversities. Amen. And, and it helped me. Amen. And it will do the same for you. And God's promise is, is real. His word does not lie. He watches over his word to perform it. Amen. So we're going to read today uh, Psalm 26 and start with verse 1. Amen. It reads, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. For your loving kindness is before my eyes. And I have walked in your truth. I have not said with vain persons, neither will I go with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, excuse me. So will I compass your altar, O Lord that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous, work, wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where, you, where your honor dwells. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands is mischiefs and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my in integrity Redeem me and be merciful to me. My foot stands in an even place in the congregations. Will I bless the Lord? Amen. I just thank the Lord for the word of God. Amen. And for Psalm. It's, it's such a blessing. Amen. And this is, um, we're going to start with verse 1 and elaborate and, uh, and talk about what, uh, psalm is, this psalm, particular psalm is about. Amen. And we're going to start with verse 1. It, it reads, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have also, I've trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. And this is, uh, this, this is a, uh, talking to the Lord about um, how when you are, you know that you walked in your integrity and you've trusted in the Lord. Amen. And you can talk to God and 
and just let him know that he can uh, he can defend you because you've lived an innocent life and you've trusted the Lord and, and you never doubt the Lord. Amen. So the Lord is your defense. I don't care uh, what the problem is. It could be a court. You could be in court. You could be in a trial or you may be uh, having to go to trial. Always know that God will defend. If you're innocent, amen, you, you don't have any problems uh, about being defended by the Lord and when you put all your trust in Him, amen. And that's in any area of your life. It could be on the job or they may be falsely accusing you of something uh, that you know you didn't do, amen. And, and when you know you're innocent, amen, you don't have anything to worry about. And when you put your trust in the Lord and never doubt, amen, uh, God will bring you out, amen. In verse 2 it reads, Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. And this is saying that you, you can ask the Lord to, you know, if you feel like that, you can ask God, Lord, examine my heart, examine my, um, you can even test me. And you can look and look close into my heart and my mind. And God knows that. But sometimes you feel, you know you're innocent. And you just, you can trust God. And he, he will examine your heart and your mind. Because he already knows anyway that, that uh, he knows everything about us. Amen. And then it reads, verse 3, it says, For your loving kindness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. And this is saying that every day as we walk, amen, we see the love, his love. And, and we do, when you're innocent, you live by the truth, his truth, amen. And we see the love of God every day in our lives, even when he sent his only begotten son to die for us. And his mercy and his love is for us amen and and you can know and you also you live in by the truth amen by your day to day so when you're going through problems of someone is trying to falsely accuse you of something that you did not do or are you uh, have to go to court or whatever the case may be know that you live by the truth amen and know that you're putting your trust in god and and you see the love that he has for you every day. And then verse 4 reads, I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go with dissemblers. And he, he's just talking to the Lord about that, that you don't spend time with, with people that are liars or, or you, you don't make friends with those that, 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 um, that are pretenders, amen dissemblers, pretenders. And that's so important to live by that too. Um, not to uh, spend time with, you need to spend time with like-minded people anyway. And not make friends with those that are doing things that they shouldn't be doing. And, and you, that could be people Especially when you're in Christ, amen, you need to be with like-minded people at all times, even on the job, um, anywhere, amen, because you need uh, to be with like-minded people, and also you need to uh, be on one accord, amen. And that's also, even in a, if you're single and if you're, you're, you're waiting on a husband or a wife, Amen. You, you do not want to be unequally yoked. Amen. So um, be with someone that are not dissemblers or pretenders and uh, do not spend time with liars. Uh, not make friends with, with people that are trying to hide their sin. Amen. In verse 5 it reads, I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. 
And this is saying that um, Jesus is love, amen, but he hates sin, amen. Um, God is love, Jesus is love, but he loves everyone, but the sin he does not, ha he does hate, amen. And a lot of times we get confused, oh yeah, Jesus is love, he doesn't hate me one, he he doesn't, you know, yes, he does. God did send his only begotten son to die that he may, that we may have life in abundance. He, he is love, but he also hates sin. Amen. So we should not be around people that, that are contrary, that lives contrary to the word of God and don't even, you know, sit with the wicked, um, don't make friends with them unless unless you are ministering to them, amen, like Jesus did when he sat with the tax collectors and uh, things of that sort, but not to be uh, friends, amen, unless you're ministering. And then in verse 6 it says, I will wash my hands in intimacy, so will I compass your altar, O Lord. And this is saying that I, I wash my hands to show that I am innocent and I come to your altar, Lord. And this is just saying that he's clean. He's, he's washed his hands and, and that he will, um, he will go about his altar. He will come past the altar. He will, you know, come clean before God. Amen. So a lot of times, before I pray, I ask the Lord to forgive me of any sins or before I go to bed. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of anything I said so I can go direct to the throne room of God without any sins. You know, because I've asked God to forgive me of anything I've said or done. Amen. And we all need to do that. And then in verse 6, 7, I'm sorry, I read, it, it reads, That I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all your wondrous works. And this is saying that I will, um, we need to proclaim um, with the voice of thanksgiving. We need to uh, raise our voice for praise, amen, and tell of all the miracles that God has done. He's done so many, we need to uh, testify, amen, and give praises to the Lord of what the Lord has done for us, amen, and, and, and we need to uh Continue to do that. Even when you're going through, we need to stop murmuring and complaining and everything, and and tell the Lord, tell people about the miracles that He's done for you, and to offer up praises unto the Lord. Amen. Verse eight it says, "Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your honor dwells." And this is saying that uh, that we love where God is, amen, the temple where God is and, and, and where, your, where his glory is, amen. We know there is a heaven, amen, and, and we, this is saying we have to re, remind ourselves that God is in heaven and he has uh, a temple. He has, and we are the temple of the Holy Ghost, amen, and uh, the glory, where his glory is, and we can walk in that divine glory, amen. Verse 9, it reads, Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men. And this is saying, God, um, don't kill me with the sinners or take my life with those murderers, with other people, because I'm innocent. I did not do that. I'm, I'm separate from those type of people. That's why it's so important to not uh, be around people that are not like-minded, that's not on, that's not in one accord with the Word of God, and that's walking contrary to the Word of God. And then verse 10 says, and whose hand is in mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. So, you don't want to be around people that, um, that are doing things that are evil in their hands, and they do wrong things, do wrong for money. Amen. And it's so important to uh, pick out your friends. Amen. And then verse 11, it says, But as for me, I will walk in my integrity. Redeem me 
and be merciful to me. And this is saying that, like we were saying in the beginning, I'm innocent. And so save me and have mercy on me. So whatever you are going through far as if you've been accused of something, false accused, you don't have to worry about it because you're innocent and, and the Lord will deliver you. He will be your defender. Amen. Then verse 12, it reads, My foot stands in an even place in the congregations while I bless the Lord. And when you're in the Lord, you're in a safe place. Amen. And you need to give God the praise all the time. In church, out of church. Through trials, not in trials. It's so important to let the praises continually be in your mouth. Amen. So we thank you for listening, amen. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't received Jesus and confess him with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, go to Romans 10, 9. God bless. Thank you. We'd like to thank you for paying attention because in a minute we won't be able to afford free speech. Ambassador Ava E. Nichols, Pastor Ava E. Nichols of Body of Christ Outreach Ministry, we'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. You got any questions or if you need prayer, 702-505-9697 or email Ava Nichols, the number one at yahoo.com. YouTube, Unknown Soldier 8, that's U-N-K-N-O-W-N-S-O-U-L-D-I-E-R, the number 8 on Yahoo. Also, check with PureSoul.biz. Thank you. We love you.